on YouTube, it's your boy Cameron, back at it again with another video. And today's video, I'm starting a new series where I react to like videos I see on the internet, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, or some shit like that, anything like that. Send me like crazy videos, controversial videos, funny videos, people freaking out, and I will react to them. But in today's video, man, this is a sad fucking video. All right, so there's a little bit of a situation going on in Florida. I know when you hear Florida, you think it's gonna be some funny, crazy, stupid shit. But this is some stupid shit, but it's not some funny shit. All right, so basically, man, Florida has a big problem with invasive species, you know, because there's a lot of irresponsible people who buy uh, exotic animals, and when they get huge or they can't take them anymore, take care of them anymore, they let them go. And thing about exotic animals is they aren't like dogs, okay? They're not domesticated. They don't give a fuck about us. They don't fucking need us, and they can survive 100% fine on their own. They will never lose that wild instinct of theirs. Like fish. If you let a fish go into the fucking lake, it's gonna survive. And it's gonna be okay. Same thing with my lizard. If I let that fool go in, like, the rainforest, he's gonna be fine. Like, nothing fucking happened. Okay? So, here's the thing. The problem with that is people release them and they become invasive. But this is not a problem. This is not in this video. In today's video, we're talking about the green iguanas. They are a species of lizard. They're very. They get very, very large, about six feet long, including the tail, and they multiply extremely fast. So basically, man, a bunch of irresponsible fucking idiot owners let a bunch of the green iguanas loose into the you know the wild. They reproduce because Florida is just like their native homes of, you know, Central America and the Caribbean, so they can survive 100% fine, okay? And it's gotten so out of hand that the Florida, you know, Fish and Wildlife, they've said, look, we can't all do this shit on our own. We need your guys' help. You guys need to kill some fucking iguanas, okay? And people are killing iguanas. And I'm going to get this out of the way now. I'm okay with you killing the iguanas in a humane fucking way. Like, if you get a gun and you're just shooting them out of the trees or shooting them, I'm okay with that. It sucks because they have to die and they're really amazing animals, but they're hurting the natural ecosystem there, so you have to do that shit, okay? You have to kill them humanely, okay? I'm not, so, I'm not saying fuck, I've seen some people fucking, like, torturing them, and I'm gonna get to that in a little bit, but, you know, tying their hands behind their back and then shooting them, that's fucking inhumane. That's, like, fucking terrible. But if you just see them in a tree and you shoot them and you kill them quickly, that's the best way to go. And if you guys are in Florida and watching this and you see green, green iguanas, either, you know, please give them to somebody to take care of them. There's many, many reptile facilities that will take care of them, okay? So please give them to places like that. Or you can take care of them yourself if you really want to and they're small. They're great animals. They're amazing. You know, there's a bunch of care guides and a bunch of good people on YouTube that will give you some advice on how to take care of these amazing animals, and you can even, you know, give them to, away to people in other states that can take care of them, stuff like that. Or give them to some place where they can be humanely euthanized, with lethal injection or something like that. Don't fucking torture them, okay? I see people fucking torturing them. Like, I saw one which let this person have a, his dog have it in his fucking mouth. Like, fuck that. That's so fucked, man. That is so fucking fucked. One thing about me, like, I fucking hate dogs. I hate fucking dogs, okay? Like, I hate them. And, you know, like, if you guys like dogs, like, it's all good. Like, I don't, you know, I don't have no malicious intention, no malicious intentions towards dogs, but I fucking hate dogs. I hate dogs. So that shit made me fucking angry. And it was like a little dog, not too little, but like, it looked like a little bit like a pit bull or some shit. I know damn well if that was a full-grown iguana, that fucking dog wouldn't dare try that shit. I fucking know that. Or even if it was a fucking gator, that dog would not try that shit. That shit would be fucking lunch. So if you have that dog and you're watching this video, fuck you. You're a piece of fucking shit. Fuck your dog. Alright? But now, we're talking about this fucking... Now I'm gonna put the video up, and this is who we're gonna be talking about. Lionel <laughs> Baby! <laughs> uh oh, he got both. He got <laughs> yeah, you see this fucking piece of shit? This is taken from, you know, somebody on Instagram. I'll leave his at in the thing below, in the description below. But this is fucking terrible. This is fucking terrible, bro. This ghetto fucking trash is slapping it with the fucking sandal. That shit fucking made me heated, man. 
That shit fucking made me fucking heated, bro. And there were some people laughing at this. Like, dude, that shit was fucking funny, dude. Like, bro, all you fucking ratchet, worthless fucking people are fucking annoying as fuck. Y'all are fucking pieces of shit, man. Honestly, bro, y'all are some fucking despicable shit people. Honestly, bro. Don't fucking do this stupid shit. You think you're funny, too. Like, they think they're fucking hella dope. And they're fucking comedians slapping this fucking lizard in the face with a fucking sandal. Like, bro, I guarantee you, if that was a fucking bigger lizard, you would not fucking try that shit. Okay? And that shit would bite the fuck out of you. <laughs> you're a fucking piece of shit, bro. This guy's the biggest piece of shit ever, bro. I was so fucked. Okay? So instead of letting this animal die peacefully, you're fucking making it bleed from the brain and causing all this fucking hemorrhaging and shit. Like, yes, I, be- I know. They're an invasive species. And you have to fucking... You know, kill them or humanely euthanize them. But there's many fucking other, like, options to this shit. You could even... I think Florida should release a fucking statement saying, Look, if you fucking torture these animals and you fucking kill these animals, that's fucking animal abuse, bro. That's fucking animal abuse. Because I don't like about some of these fucking hypocritical fucks. They draw the line at cats and dogs and shit. Like, one, bro, yeah, it's fucked up if you're fucking dog fighting and shit. Like, yeah, that's fucking terrible. You know what I'm saying? If there was dog fighting and shit, there would be fucking outrage. You know what I'm saying? Like Michael Vick, that fool went to jail for dog fighting. Any other country, that fool would not have went to jail. I fucking guarantee you, bro. Like, my my dad and my parents are from the Middle East. In the Middle East, if you dog and chicken fight, bro, they they don't give a fuck. They're like, okay, like, if I went to the fucking, you know, the police in Iran... Where my dad is from. And I'm like, excuse me, uh, officer, there's people dog fighting over there. He'd be like, so the fuck what? The fuck do you want me to do about it? Dogs fight all the time in real life. All right, so that's what the fuck they would say. And people in America are like, oh my God, that's so fucked. But you could fucking hit a lizard with a sandal. Like, you're a hypocritical fuck, man. You're a hypocritical piece of shit. Like, I fucking hate dogs. But if it was like the other way, where, like around like dogs or invasive species, I would have fucking go out there and like fucking torture them. You know what I'm saying? If I had a gun, you know, I would just shoot him in the head. There you go. Humanely, they die quick as fuck. That's it. Or I'd fucking pick up the dog and I'd take it to like a humane, to like a fucking facility where they can humanely euthanize it. And I hate dogs. Like anybody who knows me, I fucking hate dogs. I hate them. And I would not do some shit like this. This shit is despicable. And it's a fucked up human being. Huge, like a big fucked up human being. Anybody who's out here torturing these animals is a fucking piece of shit bro honestly bro this guy thinks he's fucking hilarious too you know he's like talking shit like his like it was his fucking mom beating his ass like what all of our moms used to do like dude you're fucking hitting iguana with a fucking sandal you're not hard you're a fucking idiot honestly bro you're a fucking piece of shit everybody 90 percent of the internet thinks you're a clown now you're a fucking clown now dude this guy's a big ass fucking clown i don't fucking understand it bro fuck this dude Honestly, this guy's a fucking piece of shit, dude. Honestly. This is a fucking... This is ghetto fucking trash, bro. This These are some ghetto fucking trash people. This is so fucking annoying. Honestly, this is... This, this seeing shit like this is so fucking annoying, bro. And I don't usually get triggered like this, but this shit is fucked up. This shit is... That's a living fucking animal, bro. That's a living fucking animal. Don't fucking treat that shit like that. But what do y'all think about this fucking clown in the comment section below? What do y'all think about the iguana situation? What do you think should be done about it? Let me know in the comment section below. That all being said, this is your boy Cameron. Thank you all for watching. I am out.